On 29th April, China launched the first module of its new space station. So in this video, first we will learn everything about this launch. In the second part, we will learn how in the future we can see foreign astronauts, including Indian astronauts, on this Chinese space station. And in the third part, we will learn about one of the biggest nuclear and space related project of China, that is two bombs and one satellite. So ready for the launch? This was the first module of the new Chinese space station. This was launched from Wenchang Space Launch Center from Hainan Island. The module was launched on Chinese rocket Long March 5B. It is the biggest launch vehicle in Chinese agency's arsenal. Now this Long March 5B is cryogenically fueled rocket with four side boosters which are fueled with RP1 and liquid oxygen. The core stage is fueled with liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The payload carrying capacity of this rocket is 25 tons to low Earth orbit and it is the third biggest launch vehicle in the world after Falcon Heavy and Delta IV Heavy. Now the name of this new space station is Tiangong. It will have three main modules, one core module and two labs. In this launch, the first module of this space station was launched. The name of the module is Tianhe, meaning Heavenly Harmony. It is the core module of this space station. It contains the living quarters for the crew members. It contains power, propulsion and life support systems. And now this whole space station will be built with 11 launch missions. Different launch missions will carry out different things like the three modules will have different launches that is to uh, take these three modules into the orbit. Uh, China's space agency will have three launch missions then it will have four cargo missions and four manned missions. In total, 11 missions to build this space station in these two years, that is 2021 and 2022. They are planning to complete this space station by 2020. After these 11 launches are completed, they are hoping to uh, operationalize this space station uh, in 2022. And the final weight of this space station will be around 65 to 70 tons. Once this is completed, it will it is planned to be operational for 10 years and if the space station is maintained properly and conditions are favorable, it can be extended to 15 years. Now, as this first launch has been completed, the next launch will be a cargo mission that is Tianzhou 2, which will be launched in this month, that is month of May. And after that, Shenzhou 12, which is a car, car, uh, crew mission, which will launched in June, which will carry three astronauts to the new space station. Now the core module of the space station is in the orbit. After these two other modules, which are labs, will be launched on the follow-up missions. The name of these modules is Ventian, meaning heavenly creations, and the Mentian, which means heavenly dreams. Now my pronunciations of Chinese words is off the charts, so please give me a break. The total weight of this space station, as I told, it will be between 65 to 70 tons. The core module which has been launched, the weight of that TN9 module was 22.5 tons and it was within the limits of the carrying capacity of Long March 5B rocket as it has 25 tons of max capacity of launching in low Earth orbit. Once the construction of this space station is complete and all three modules are in the orbit, the shape of the space station will resemble the T-shape and in future there is a possibility that more modules will be added to the space station and it can be extended to the Chinese character of Gang that some somewhat looks like a T upon T so double T's the living space in the space station will be about 110 cubic meters three astronauts can stay on the space station for the long term and max six astronauts can stay for the short term. The space station will have an orbit of 350 kilometers to 450 kilometers of altitude. Now, what are the previous launches that Chinese have launched? Previously, the Chinese space agency has launched two small uh, space labs called Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. Tiangong-1 was launched in uh, 2011. Tiangong-2 was launched in 2016. Both have completed their missions and have been de-orbited from the space and 
now using that experience they are building this new space station now if you compare this chinese space station with iss international space station it is a comparatively a small station whereas international space station is 400 ton plus space station and chinese space station is about 65 to 70 tons and chinese uh, international space station was built in international collaboration mainly russia us canada europe and japan the international space station is planned to be retired in 2024 as nasa is shifting its budget from international space station to mars mi moon missions artemis program and but if the plan changes if the administration thinks that international space station is important they the life of the international space station can be extended to 2028 and the major factor also will be the uh, russia because russia has uh, shown some intentions that it does not want to continue with the collaboration on the international space station we will have to look whether russia continues and whether the us administration takes any positive decision on continuation of the international space station now the main thing how we can see foreign astronauts including indian astronauts on chinese space station in the future the spy, chinese space agency the official chinese space agency have uh, categorically said that it will welcome international collaborations on its space station already the european astronauts are already training in china they are learning chinese language they are learning about the equipment and the training procedures once it is completed the space station is completed we will see european astronauts on chinese space stations and there is a possibility we are having a gaganyaan mission we are building our capabilities india is building its capabilities to have manned mission in space and maybe if the relations are are good in the future we may see indian astronauts on chinese space station conducting various types of experiments now historically we have seen that whatever the relations between two countries are there is always a possibility of having collaboration in the space room we take the example of us and soviet union or russia now the conflict was high in the cold war and after the cold war but still then the collaboration was on when it came to international space station or space anything related to space there was a large collaboration between these two countries now at last we will talk about the chinese project of two bombs and one satellite what is this project it was a nuclear and space project of chinese government in 1960s and 70s uh, under this project china planned to build two bombs which is the, now the chinese have their own way of uh, titling and defining projects so these two bombs were one is atomic bomb and the second one was international uh, intercontinental ballistic missile and the third one was artificial satellite that is two bombs and one satellite now they succeeded in detonating the atomic bomb and testing i inter, inter, intercontinental ballistic missile and also they also launched the artificial satellite in 60s and 70s so when this mission was completed the current mission that was launched on 20th of april the chinese president xi jinping congratulated the chinese space agency and again repeated that chinese should go forward with the spirit of this two bomb one satellite project and china should continue its technological advances and become self sufficient in technological needs we will have to see where china goes because it is pouring huge amounts of money and resources in its space project and it will be a big player if the international space station is retired in 2024 and chinese space station is complete there will be only one stage space station in the orbit and that will be a chinese space station and that will be a something of a proud statement for chinese people we will have to see what happens and what other space agencies develop it will be very uh, difficult to predict because there is spacex which is launching its starship and once the prototype phase is complete it will have a huge ability to launch heavy objects into the space and orbit 
and things will be very different when that is completed so there's nothing to worry there will be a international collaboration on space and that will be good for everyone so that's it for today it's always too great learn something new so keep learning